Uh, Gina, <clears throat> uh, you remember Dennis. Dennis Stockel? Yeah, hi. Uh, Gina Conway, my second in command. Early hours of this morning, there was a, a fire at Burningwood. A fire? Is everyone all right? What calm happened? Down, calm down, calm down, calm down. They're fine, they're fine. Yeah, we'll just start to move a few of the kids in here. Yeah, and, and Dennis will be joining us for a while. Just while they sort Burningwood out. Relax. I'm not here to take over. <laughs> Got enough on my plate already. Mike. Would you clear us some of your stuff? Sure. Well, we only have two spare rooms. Some of yours left to share. She has to be on her own. Well, wouldn't she prefer some company? Not if I say she has to be on her own. Well, yeah, but... So that leaves Rick, Tyler and Lizanne. Can we mix them with our lot? Or you want to keep them separate? Or wherever you stick them, care kids are trouble. Oh, check out the room. No padlocks. Yeah, we'll be getting some now you were here. Uh, we prefer to trust our young people, Dennis. Here, Tyler, help yourself. Cheers. Hoo -hoo. I wouldn't tell him to help himself, but that uh, speaks the voice of inexperience. I've got plenty of experience with the care system. Ah, uh, ex-care kid. Yeah, I'm proud of it. Well, I wouldn't risk employing her, but good for you for giving her a chance. <laughs> Let's crack on with the paperwork, shall we? Welcome to the world of pain, that is Dennisville. I've been trying to think of the best ways to get through to Kitty. Any ideas? Yeah, uh, leave her alone, make sure nobody touches her. What kind of an answer is that? That's one based on experience, so drop the attitude. There's no you can do. Glad Mike didn't think like that when he first met me. You're not like Kitty. No, but I still needed someone to make a difference. Well, it wasn't a very big one, was it? Ex-care kid working in, uh, Oh, a care home. Who's written articles for a national newspaper, had a column in a local one, published the story of my life in care, and I've just sent another story off to the publisher. What, so you're just filling in here till you're rich and famous? No. Look, why are you having a go at me? I'm just trying to find out the best way to handle Kitty. Yeah. Hi, Kitty. Okay. Do you like your new room? Do you want to come downstairs and sit with the others? Shall I find you a book to read? See? She's happy you left alone. Yeah, but Kitty's no If you want to bash your head against a brick wall, be my guest. But you set her off trying to prove me wrong. Oh, you'll be sorry. Don't threaten me! Whoa, what are you doing? Get out! Hey, that's no way to talk to your new roommate. <laughs> I don't share. Well, someone's got to. Good luck finding them. Call it, Blue Air. Heads she stays, tails she goes. Heads! Happy sharing. Any of my stuff goes missing, you're dead meat. Hey! You play nice. Once a care home kid, always a care home kid. Well, I didn't know they were going to set fire to it. This is mine. And I thought Bernie would be bad. You're grounded. And you replace this out of your allowances. Do you hear me? Come on, lads, back from there. Shut sure bang out of order, you are. Come on! Tyler, come on, move, please. Could still be dangerous. Hey! You're grounded without TV. For having fireworks. Cut him some slack. His gear just went up in smoke. Yeah. Second time to do. We should be getting used to it. Ten minutes. No, then no, we'll no, go no, no. You don't give him ten minutes to hide it somewhere else. We're searching your rooms. Now. Look, we all know Johnny keeps his money behind the fireplace. If he was going to nick it, we would have done it months ago. I'll wait until the convenient scapegoat turned up. What are these doing here? Search me, Governor. Oh. oh. You already have. Don't be your best! Don't be quiet! You never stole anything out of us! I was still gonna find out. Don't be your best! Just will you please? Just be here. I'll do what I'm ready. You don't handle him like that! No, no. Don't tell me what to do. No, 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 no. 
listen, listen. He wouldn't take your money. Look at the stages. Look at that. Please. She is not fair. Please. Look, would you not make. Contact the security unit. Yeah, we wouldn't take her anyway. She's not um, bad enough. She put Tracy in hospital. And now, you made her worse. Me? Mm. Place is out of control, Mike. Nobody else to blame but you. Elm Tree House is not out of control. Yeah? I've been here a morning. Two of your kids had torched Tyler's stuff. Moody Boys had his cash nicked. The Vain Girls had blow in a shampoo. Toilet's been sabotaged. And. And the member of staff has gone to hospital because you trained her to ask for advice and then ignore it. Dennis, if you'd have had a firmer grip on the place, none of this would have happened. Hey, hang on. That's not true. The kids need boundaries, they need discipline. And they get plenty of both. No, what they get is you are, oh, let's have a hug and talk about it routine. And it's just not working. Well, it's hardly been a normal day. What is normal in care? Happy kids, healthy environment. You have been on thin ice ever since the tribunal. Not taking me down with you. One last chance before we call the police. That's a waste of time on no evidence. They won't do anything and we get left with a load of paperwork. It's only fair to Johnny. Mm. Well, he's lost 200 quid. There are 10 kids here. We're taking a fiver off everyone's allowance over the next four months. <laughs> Find his money, keep yours. And this place... It's closed until further notice. It's not a prison. Do you want to sit here? Write your letter of resignation. Why would I want to resign? Because I'm taking over. We're standing up to him. Councillor War, is it? Come on, let's break it up. There's no law against them hanging out with each other. There is if I say so. And isn't it time you went home? Not yet. What, is social work to give you permission to visit? I used to live here. Mike said it's okay. Yeah, well, I'm his boss, and I say it's not. You're nasty. Hmm. And you're out. And arrest! Come on! Move it on! Right! Who set off the fire alarm? Me, just thought I should let you know that the, uh, the attic's on fire. Where's Gloss? Where's Tracy? He was there. With me! Open, open, open! Open, open! Open, open! What, you just let him burn? Hurry! <laughs> I thought you were up there. I was. But all our stuff's up there. Get back! Ow! What happened? He pushed me. You all right? Yeah. I didn't touch her. Silly girl slipped in the mud. Well, it's been raining all night. What do you expect? I told you. You should never have let the young people come up here. Uh, wait a minute. Who's to say this is our kids' fault? Who else is it going to be? You lot are completely out of control. Why do you think I've been doing overnights all week? Ah, uh, look here. What's that? Burned out joss sticks. It wasn't my fault. Harry, we're not angry, OK? Babes, we just want to know where you got them from. Saf used to burn them. Did you get them from my room when she left? They smell like sapphire. OK. He's admitted it. Hold on a minute, he didn't say that. He's... Did you burn these? Yes, but then I put them out. Harry doesn't tell lies. Plus, he wasn't at Burnywood, was he? So? Well, two fires and two care homes in less than a week. Don't you think there's a connection? There is. The ball full of care kids. Tracy. I can forgive your incompetence, Stacey. Tracy. After all, you're only young, but Gus Carmichael could have been killed today. I've been reviewing your record over the past two years, and to be honest, I can't believe you've kept your job this long. That's because Tracy's a good care worker. Well, obviously you think so. 
You've been covering for her from day one. Look, all we were trying to do I'm not interested in your excuses. Mike. Out! We're busy! We're investigating. We found the forensic evidence. What's he going on about? These. We found these in the attic. The sack of sawdust was full of them. Cigarette butts can smolder for hours. So that's what happened. Harry didn't start the fire at all. There was a smoker up there. This changes everything. It changes nothing. The issue is that you are a danger to young people. So you don't care who started the fire? Well, of course I do. I'm going to search this place from top to bottom till I find the smoker. But it's no longer you a problem. ID. Keys. Now go and get the rest of your things together. I want you gone within the hour. Glad to know you're all on my side. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going. You come back to visit, right? Of course I will. All visits will need to be pre-approved by the head care worker. And your social workers. Don't do it, Tracy. Oh, I know. <clears throat> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Tracy. Bye. What? Hey! I told you to get out! Rick! Tracy. Rick! What? Yours, I believe. Someone just chucked these out of your window. Grantham's full strength. The attic smoker's choice. What's going on? Nothing. It's okay. Kitty, do you know anything about these? I found them in my room. Someone put them there? Kitty gave them to me and I threw them out. So you admit it? Kitty had cigarettes and you helped to hide them? No. That's not what I said. Shh. Give me those. You're both on sanctions. You don't leave the house until further notice. And I'll be passing these on to the fire investigators. Dennis! No, no, Mike. We'll talk at my office. You, get out. The rest of you... Go to your rooms. Dennis? Great, the sound must have told him I was here. Let me know when he's gone. He's coming this way. Look. I'm from Well, okay. I felt pressured. I had the odd cigarette. Mm. I think you did a bit more than that. You were on overnight duty. Why do you think I've been doing overnights all week? And it was raining last night. What do you expect? It's been raining all night. You couldn't be bothered to go outside. So, you decided to go up to the attic instead. You knew you were safe, because you'd taken the batteries out of the fire alarm. You'd smoked there before. You put the cigarette end in the sawdust. But you hadn't put it out properly. By the morning, it was too late. While everyone was blaming Harry, you thought you were safe. But then we found the cigarette butts. So, we had to pin the blame on someone else. Kitty seemed like a soft target. You framed her. She found the cigarettes before you could pretend to find them. Ow! Okay, look, I know the fire was an accident and one lie led to another, but Kitty's vulnerable. How could you do that to her? Do what? You've got no evidence whatsoever. Mm. We'll let the police decide that, yeah? <laughs> or you could uh, take a seat and write your letter of resignation. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's it going to be? A 
Yes, Tracy. Tracy, sorry. What? Do you know if my... Would you tell anybody about what we discussed? No. Mike won't say a word. He's a decent bloke. Right. You know, Kitty really does need specialist care. But there's no money. An incident like this might actually have helped her get it. You just keep telling yourself that. <laughs>